Today we're assembling the flat top grill uh, Camp Chef model 475 L as in Lisa, C as in cat. Um, it's a two burner model. Uh, we saw a lot of videos and advertisements for the three burner, uh, which is the 475. Uh, so we wanted to do an unboxing and an installation video on the 475 LC for you. Um, if, to see our unboxing video, we have it uh, also attached on our channel, so uh, have a view of that. Um, here's Steve. He's our installer today. Um, so he's going to be putting this together for us. Um, cool. Well, guys, basically all I did was, uh, as you see in the earlier videos, we went ahead and we unboxed everything. We laid everything out. Um, so all I've done so far is I put the legs on both sides. They just simply go right on top and you'll be able to see because there's a flange right here and they just fit on. One of the things I did find uh, with another unit that we had was uh, to make it easier is the bracket part that's already mounted on goes on the side where the gas regulator comes out. So it makes it pretty simple to figure out which one's right and left. Uh, to save time, I went ahead and I put all the bolts in here like I said, through the pre-drilled holes. Um, and then I came onto this side. Somebody wants to see, it's pretty simple. Take that washer with the nut, put it down underneath, washer underneath here, and then go ahead and put your bolt. Always gives you a hard time. Got that in there. They pretty much stuck down pretty good, um, you know, without the screwdriver. However, this screwdriver, put your thumbs up underneath and it really gets tight as it is. So now you'll have everything that's all tightened down for that area there. Another thing I did find when you follow through the directions, it's gonna say to go ahead and put a washer on both sides of these six uh, bolts. And if you do do that, you're gonna come up four washers short so I had some extra washers sitting there because what they are saying is on the back part here, this back plate is supposed to have washers also. Um, so like I said, if you do do the, uh, the four washers or the six foot that they're calling out over there, you are going to be short. Um, we do have this similar unit uh, up at our other house. Um, and for some reason, I was short up there also. So, not 100% sure why they come up short, but they're just simple washers um, to go. Okay, so <clears throat> once you get all four of those that are in there, it says uh, pretty much it's time to go ahead and put the wheels on. The wheels are pretty simple to, uh, to do. Just stick them through the hole. Right through there, and this is all threaded also on the outside. So if you follow that all the way through, and of course we'll just go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And then the cap goes right over the top of it. So I'll quickly go ahead and do this other one. Nice shiny up caps. Yes, all terrain wheels. <laughs> so we got this grill really, um, the one we have up in our other location is the four burner. Uh, it works really good. Uh, we have more of a gathering there when we're cooking, so we wanted the bigger one. This one we wanted to be able to have the flexibility of taking it camping with us. So uh, that was the reason behind getting a smaller one. And then using it as well at our, at our location here. Um, it's nice. Uh, the flexibility of cooking outside is awesome. Um, especially when you the weather's great and you're having a party out there. It's nice to bring it out there. I know we use it a lot in Maine. Absolutely. So once we got that part there, all the legs, like I said, I have everything tightened down already to not bore you through so the So there's video. only two legs, right? So it rolls. Two wheels. Yep. yep. Um, next thing we have to do is go ahead and put these brackets on. Like I said earlier, I put one of those on for you. Um, this is gonna be for the, the shelf. 
pretty simple. This part that's here, you can see them that are up. For decorative reasons, they go to the outside. And again, like I showed you with the tires and stuff like that, make sure you tighten everything down so it doesn't wobble on you. Um, I just didn't want to bother you guys with tightening everything up. It's a good idea for maintenance too to tighten it up everywhere. Yeah, it's going. It's gone. Yep. Okay. This little part here is if something happens to the burner, you could put a match on here as you light it. And you can put it through there. Oh, wow. It just simply stores right inside there. Okay. <clears throat> um, our next part that's going to go on, um, probably should have done it a little bit earlier, but uh, I rushed it over to the top, is that bottom shelf. Bottom shelf simply just goes on. If you're by yourself, sometimes I find it easier to do it. This way, if you have somebody else, since Lisa's doing that filming portion of it, that bottom shelf will go right on there. This is where they were calling out for the other, um, the other M6 bolts to come into there. And we'll go ahead and put these on. Shelf goes on the bottom to where it's just going right inside here. Again, doing it upside down, you could do it, but then what happens is if somebody's actually on the other side, you need somebody to hold it or else you're always fighting it for, to go through. repeat this all the way through but to not bore them just move on to the next one the uh, at least if you could pass me that piece there this little piece here this little piece here is for your gas tank lip goes up so it grabs the bottom of the uh, tank itself simply tighten things down. Okay. So it's my luck putting the screwdriver where you need it to be. The one that I had up in Maine, I used my drill, even though I talked it down a little bit. It seemed like it still made some burrs on it, so I figured with this one here, I just do it. I just do it by hand. Okay. Might as well put that on so we can see the full assembly. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> so our shelf here. Once you get those brackets on. Goes right inside. shelf those are really handy uh, when you're cooking outside to put your food trays on and stuff especially when you're camping yep. and then the other one these were already installed in here when, uh, when they came from the manufacturer the screws
I imagine that's handy to hang um, your tools on um, while you're cooking. For camping, it's great to dry your towels <laughs> and stuff. And I guess it's also, if you tighten, well, I guess you, when you move the grill, you don't really use that, do you? You kind of use a, you probably should move it, fold it down, so you don't damage it. Well, a lot of times when it comes down to the cover part of it, we always put it down so the cover fits better. Well, that's true. Yeah. And uh, while he's tightening that bottom shelf there, I'll tell you a little bit about this model as far as how it works in the um, scheme of things. Um, it's got um, two 15,000 BTU burners. Um, so those burners are the 15,000 BTUs. Um, the uh, three burner has three 12,000 BTUs, and as we said with the unboxing video, uh, we explained that we have the four burner uh, and our other loading our assembly of the flat top 475 LC flat top Camp Chef grill. Um, we tightened up everything. If you saw our first video, uh, everything was getting tightened down uh, from the shelf uh, to um, all the other items. We've got just a couple things left to assemble, and Steve will get on that. It's a drip tray. Drip tray. It's in a groove right here. Slides in there. And last but not least, and again, you can see the two 15,000 BTU burners. Sits right in there. And it sits right in there, and you can see how the grease can drain into that pocket really well. Um, the cook surface right now, you didn't see a lot of stickiness to it because of the plastic that was uh, covering it for protection. Um, I think we're going to have to turn it on and burn that off first. Um, and this is where you would attach your gas, gas mm -hmm. um, unit. We fire um, it up and throw another video together. So we'll get it fired up. And uh, we just got delivered today. The, these are our Christmas gifts to each other. Uh, the Italia um, Artesian Pizza Oven from Camp Chef. Um, so we'll have another video and unboxing on that on our channel, so stay tuned for that, um, and we'll be in touch soon.